Hello my feral friends, today our video is a little different. I'm going to be taking you along with me as I decorate my altar for Imbolc. Right now you can see my altar is still very red and green from Yule, so I thought it would be really fun to kind of take you along with me and see how I decorate my altar. So grab a cozy drink, settle on in. I'm going to be playing some music for us, and I'm going to keep the voiceover very light today. So I hope you enjoy. Remember that mundane cleaning is just as important, if not more important, a magical cleaning. So I always start redoing my altar with a full clean. In this case, I vacuumed up all of the pine needles from my Yule altar. And now I'm using a wood cleaner and polish to kind of freshen up the space and make the wood just shine. I love it so much. I think it's really important to show care to your altar space, both physically and spiritually. Now I start with my base of these velvet fabrics. I got these from Joann's and I just absolutely love them, the texture and the color it adds. Below my altar I actually keep stored a lot of the items that I use in my practice. So here I have one of my rabbit pelts. This is my only white one and I thought it would be perfect for in bulk. I like to always include some flora for the season. And then this is my moon water vessel that I'll be using for this month. Of course we need our coffee offering too. I love this new wheel of the year that I got. I, here I'm rotating it to be on the in bulk setting. And of course Anubis needs to be nice and centered with the rabbit pelt. Here I am scattering some acorns as well as some fox jaw bones that I have. Winter to me is very symbolic of death so I like to incorporate that in my wintertime altars in a respectful way. We're doing some white candles for the Sabbath. And this is the new scrying orb that I received. I'm looking forward to using it more this month. A selenite bowl for clearing. And now I'm kind of just decorating. I'm grabbing the tools and the equipment that I'll be mostly trying to use and connect deeper with this month. I'm going to be going through the drawers and finding some crystals and things that are correspondent with this month, or at least with the themes that I'm wanting to be using more this month. So yeah, I'm gonna let you guys enjoy.
couldn't resist putting this little owl up here. I'm going to be using him as a tea light holder and I really love him. And with that, I think that's the last of it. I think our altar is set. It's got everything I need for this month. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me. And yeah, I hope to do more of these videos again in the future. Let's see what she looks like all lit up. <laughs>